Hey fam, welcome back. So I'm sure you've seen the title, Pornography, and its effects on the relationship. And I was debating about putting this on YouTube because I know that it is a touchy subject for some. It's also a very great subject for others. And then there are some people that just like, you know, whatever, I don't care, you do you, move it on with life, right? So... I decided to do this because I posted um, on my Facebook, I have a week where I talk about a different topic. So I'll talk, you know, ask a question around that topic. I do quotes around that topic, um, whatever, my beliefs, just whatever. So I do a week's worth of whatever the topic is for that week. And when I recently posted my week's topic about pornography, Listen, things were just blowing up on my page. <laughs> and um uh, in a not so good way, everybody, well, not everybody, of course, right? So most people were in the negative, and I found that most of them were women in the negative, meaning they didn't have an affinity for pornography at all, or they are experiencing the effects of their man be uh partaking in it and they're not doing it with them. And so just educating people that I've done my research behind this. And um, according to the research, actually, because, uh, first, let me back up. They were basically saying that it's a destroyer. There's nothing good about pornography and, and all of that stuff, right? And I'm really not trying to put my own thoughts in this. It really is just a way to open up conversation because people deal with pornography in their relationship, whether it's good, bad, happy, sad. Some people have actually thought about getting getting a divorce some people have gotten a divorce there are effects that it does affect the children but on the flip side of that because everybody always pulls up the bad all everybody always pulls up the negative portions when it comes to research and what i've actually found is that with the research yes those things do occur but the main thing or the main problem is what they found is when one spouse is partaking in pornography, watching it and, you know, consuming it, but the other party does not know about it. So the other party, the person that found out, they, um, you know, they're really shocked. Some people are just really shocked, like, wow, I didn't know that you watch pornography because, again, it's hidden um, or um, because they found out it was just a very devastating blow to them they have um a self-esteem issues after this uh, again of course they, it can lead to a divorce and then of course the breakdown of the family and everything right but on the flip side of that also what research is revealing that's not widely talked about is the couples that know about it whether they watch it together or not so you have a couple right one party is watching it the other one is not but they both know that you know one person partakes whether it's on a regular basis or just a sometime basis and then the other side is where couples are watching it together and performing you know trying to perform these acts bringing the spice into the relationship right so all of this is to say i know that everybody's not going to agree on this topic i know that this is a spicy topic itself but i want to bring the facts that's why i'm here because again Everybody doesn't deal with the same thing in their relationship. And so I'm very aware of that. But I'm also aware of the fact that some people do deal with this particular issue, pornography, which is why I'm here to talk about it. Because if, if you don't address the issues, if you don't address your problems, if you just keep sweeping up under the rug, then you're never going to get any different results. You're going to keep dealing with the same stuff over and over again. So I am here to talk about the real. The real is some people deal with this particular issue in their relationships. And that's why I'm talking about it. Because in relationships, pornography comes up. That's why I'm talking about it. Like, it doesn't matter what my opinion is about it. Whether it's good, bad, happy, sad. I'm just bringing you what the facts are. Okay? So we're going to stick with that. So with that being said, let's talk about five uh, um, when when how secret pornography affects the relationship so that is the actual title how secret pornography affects the relationship that's what we're going to talk about today so basically somebody is in the relationship they're doing it and their partner does not know so that's what we're talking about here today now one of the things to take into concern or to think about with this is 50 percent 56, 56% of homes lead to divorce when one partner hides it from the other and that partner finds out or discovers it. 
this also goes for se separation as well so maybe they're contemplating divorce but they don't know if that's the route that they actually want to take but the numbers are there 50 56 percent of homes do get destroyed from one partner secretly watching pornography and the other one discovering it or finding out about it so they had no knowledge of it another thing to think about is that watching pornography especially when it's hidden increases your chances of cheating i.e infidelity by 300 percent like that is an astronomical number so you're secretly watching pornography your spouse or partner does not know about it they haven't discovered it yet and because for whatever reason you don't feel that you can share this portion this side of you to your spouse to your partner it heightens and increases your chances of cheating or infidelity by 300 percent that's an astronomical number and one of the things that most people don't think about is the effects the cause you're doing it is that's the cause right you're watching this pornography but what's the effects when you think about i'm sorry not think when you actually take action by trying to perform these sexual acts with another person outside of your household because if your spouse knew about them maybe the act that you want to perform is too kinky for them and they don't want to partake in it or maybe they just mentioned something about you know pornography or explicit sexual acts and now you like okay i can't share this part of myself with me but that feeling that desire does not go away and so because you're secretly watching it now you now you're at the point where just viewing it is not enough now you have to partake and reenact the things that you are partaking in secretly which is where the infidelity comes in it could be with somebody that you have been able to open up and share yourself with or um prostitution or something like that right but you're finding ways to fulfill the needs to fulfill the sexual acts that you watch on a regular basis or whenever you watch them so keep that in mind and here's the thing though a lot of times when the men and because it's usually men not all the time but it usually is the men who have the pornography issue and that's just what i found again in research the majority of the time it is the men who's dealing with this and don't want to let it go or whatever it is right it's the men who's usually taking this on and they find a way to fulfill that need and unfortunately because once it once they're turned on and in tune to say i actually want to try out what i've been watching they don't care what it costs them meaning they either have weighed the cost or not, but those who have weighed the cost still have said, you know what, if I actually lose my family, I want to still do this. Or if I just lose my wife, I want to do this. Or if I just lose my children, I want to do this. So they have weighed the cost or not, and they're still like, I am going to do it. I'm still going to do it. So it is a very serious thing, and I am totally aware that it's a very serious thing, ser serious thing that some people have to deal with that some people have to encounter because everybody that pornography touches doesn't touch them in the same light it doesn't affect them the same way and so when i posted this on my facebook page um i had a few people actually say that pornography most of them are women who said that pornography destroyed my relationship one of the ladies who mentioned it said that her husband is not interested in help he loves his pornography the other one said that her fiance is actually getting help he's getting he's seeking the help right now so it affects people differently some people are like i want to keep my family others are like well i don't have no I actually don't have no interest in i mean you can walk away because this is my thing and i want to keep my thing and my thing is pornography in this instance so it, it affects people differently the next thing to think about is the emotional separation that the person or the people in the relationship feel and specifically to the person that's actually the discoverer the discoverer of their partner their spouse watching um, pornography because they already noticed a distance between you two and they've been trying to figure out what the hell the distance was and then they put like two and three together and then they like okay this is why he's been so emotionally distant again this can be a woman i'm just saying he for the most part because this is what the numbers are showing that this is majority affects men in this way especially because men are very visual creatures as 
well. So anyway, the emotional separation, it really takes a toll on the wife or the girlfriend in this instance. And um, they feel like they're not enough. They don't feel sexy enough. They're always asking the question, why? Like, why Why did this happen? How come you need to do this? Again, I'm not, am I not sexy enough? Um, do you feel that you need to go out and do these things? How come I didn't know? Like, it's a whole bunch of why questions. Why, 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 why? Questions once they find out. But then, again, they put two and two together. Like, this is why he's been so distant. This is why he doesn't open up to me emotionally. Or his emotional side is just completely shut down because he's been living in this fantasy land watching these women do these um sexual acts whether you find the perversive um um what's the word i'm looking for <laughs> i know i know i know the word but i can't i can't think of it right now <laughs> which is too funny anyway whether you find them the acts to be good or bad let's just put it that way or not it doesn't matter it's just like that's what i want to do and so i'm going to do it i'm gonna find a way to feel that need and so you eventually just distance yourself away from your spouse more and more emotionally because you feel like well I don't have to in order for me to get my sexual needs met I am fulfilling it myself with with my hand and I don't really need you here for this particular portion and so you need the emotional support I actually don't at this point and that again that's not across the board for everybody but just saying another thing to think about when you're watching pornography in secret your spouse has yet to find out about it or maybe he um he or she actually have found out about it right now and they're like oh wow this is what's been going on so this is where our money's been going um this is why you haven't been coming home or this is why you've been locking yourself in this room or in your man cave for hours upon hours or you know whatever so you create trust issues is the whole point to this point you are creating trust issues within your relationship, within your marriage, and it's really hard to get the trust back once it is broken. Can it? Can it? Yes, but there are things that need to be put in place before the trust even thinks about being rebuilt, but you are actively breaking down the trust in your relationship, and then your, your partner or your spouse is going to question everything, everything once this is revealed everything another thing to think about when you're watching porn in secret is that it decreases your marital satisfaction when one spouse is watching without the other up to 68 percent so 68 percent of the time people are feeling a decreased marital satisfaction when one person is watching it versus both of them watching it together again these are just the numbers i highly think that you should think about this and really try to take some action behind getting rid of this thing especially if it is taking a toll on you as a person on your relationship on your family's relationship and not so much that um with the children specifically, but it does affect the children because all this time that you're spending on watching these sexual acts and, and trying to fulfill them, you're taken away from the time that you could be spending with your family and with your wife or fiance, the time that you could be putting in instead of thinking about ways to fulfill this need, which turns into infidelity and cheating and increasing your risk of actually going out there and doing these things because your wife or girlfriend does not know about them it increases your chance of really just destroying your relationship and so one of the other things that you have to think about is 70 this is the bonus 70 percent of wives who discover their husband's porn addiction display signs of p t s d post-traumatic stress disorder 70%. So 70% of the wives out there who did not know that their man, that their husband was watching pornography, once they discovered it, 70% of them had displayed signs of PTSD. That is, and those are numbers that cannot be ignored. If you are having issues 
after watching this and you're like, wait a minute, whoa, I didn't know that I was going down this roller coaster ride. I don't want my wife to find out um, or my girlfriend to find out. I didn't realize that this is all of the stuff that's kind of going along with it. Definitely reach out and get some help. Reach out and get some help. There should be some type of counselor in your area, a therapist in your area, your 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 pastor or priest in your area, somebody who can help you get through this time. And then once you've already started to seek the help, whether you want to include your wife in the beginning or girlfriend in the beginning, or after you start seeking the help, then include them. At some point, you need to include them. They definitely need to know what you're struggling with because there are going to be days that you continue to struggle outside of the counseling, outside of the therapy, and you're going to need their support. You're going to need their help. And then there should be some um pornography groups sort of like aa groups there definitely should be some pornography groups like you're struggling with this groups where you should be able to sit down and talk to others and ask them how they how they overcame this what how did it affect their family how did they keep their family etc so there are definitely different means out there for you to start getting help to turn this thing around if it has taken a stronghold on you and on your relationship and it's affecting everything about your relationship one of the other things that i actually failed to mention is with all of this stuff going on and in very 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 extreme cases of pornography watching the person that is watching the pornography loses all sexual interest in their spouse in their partner and that's an extreme extreme cases but that does happen so if you're seeing that pornography is taking a stronghold on you then you need to seek some help especially if you want to save your family now if you don't want to save your family and you're like the other um, person that i mentioned earlier from my facebook message she's not interested then that's your business too but if you want to save your relationship, if you're struggling with this particular issue, then you need to reach out to someone who can actually help you. I hate to say that I'm not the person, but I'm not the person to help you with this particular struggle. Google has the answers to the person that you are seeking. Google it. But do what you need to do so you can live a more fulfilled life, so your wife or girlfriend can live a more fulfilled life, so you can stand up and be the role model that your child or children need to see. You need to be around. I love you guys, and there's nothing that you can actually do about it. If this is something that you are struggling with, get the help that you need. I will see you guys in a future video. Deuces, y'all.